Hello and welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. If you like Adobe tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button because there's more videos coming, that's for sure. Today we are going to be doing the green screen effect. Take a look. Alright, let's get started here. So open up your Premiere Pro. And I actually have some footage that I downloaded from the internet. I'm going to link it in the description below so you can download them as well if you want to use them for practice. So I'm going to start off with this coined video. I already have them dragged into my sequence. So as you can see, there's these falling coins on a green background. And what we're going to do is take out this green background and put something behind it. Let's actually put a white background behind both of the clips first. So we're going to drag this up to the second layer. We're going to right click in here, press new item, color mat. Okay, and we're going to make it white. And I'm just going to drag this behind the video clip so that when we key out these green screens, we can see the white background behind it. We're going to start off with the coin video. So select the clip and go into effects. We're going to search for ultra key. And we're going to drag this effect onto the green screen. What we're going to do is click this color picker tool in the effect controls and click the green screen. All right, that is pretty much a perfect keying job. You don't have to do much altering on this clip. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, depending on the clip. I'm pretty sure the next clip we're gonna work on is gonna be a little more work, but look how easy that was. We're gonna move on to the second clip. Drag your playhead over here, and you can see that there's some shadows in the background, so this might be a little more challenging to do, but we're gonna give it a go. So again, drag this alter key onto the clip. We're gonna key out the color. We're going to play around with this setting so we don't see these gray things in the background, you know? We want it to be a better keying job than this. We're going to start off by changing the setting mode to aggressive. And that already clears up a lot of the gray matter on the sides. But we're going to go in and play with the settings. And it is just about playing around with the settings, seeing what works. Every clip is different. So we're going to see what we can do to get rid of these gray spots. So I'm going to bump up the tolerance to 100 first. And I'm going to up the pedestal as well. Oh, you can already see the gray going away here. We're going to go under matte cleanup and bump up midpoint to 100. And you can barely see the gray in the background. And it looks pretty good. So I think what we're going to do now is, because you can only see it in this corner here, we're just going to, we're going to crop her out. You know? Easy peasy, right? We're going to go under opacity. And we're going to click this pen tool. And we're just going to crop her out. We're going to click inverted. That's pretty much it. A pretty perfect keen job, if I may say so myself. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.